Hi there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your little RV specialist. Started by our mom and dad in 1976, we are proud to be a second-generation family-owned and operated business. My friends call me Luke and my sisters call me Charlie, but you can call me anytime at 440-OHIO-RVs. A member of our growing team would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. Again, that's truckandrv.com. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see the pricing and information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full service dealer offering warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 440 Ohio RVs. Again, that's 440 O H I O R V S. For sale today, we have a 2010 Pleasure Way Excel TS with 52,965 miles. Alrighty, folks, here we are inside of this 2010 Pleasure Way Excel TS. As usual, I'm gonna start in the front, work my way towards the rear. I'm gonna do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan as well as the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are proud to be a second generation family owned and operated dealership. This particular unit was here prior at one time. This is a consignment unit. The previous owners had some fun with this one. And while they're out and about, they found their dream lake house and purchased that lake house. So now this unit is back at Coon Truck and RV once again. Got hard surface flooring here in the center of the coach. Makes it a little easier to keep clean. Got carpet in the back. Got a table mount up front. Got a table here. Got a little discoloration there on the bottom of that trim piece. Got a table mount in the back here in the back. Got about 74 inches of headroom in the main part of the coach. Got a crank for your TV antenna here. You do not want to drive around with that up. Got your fantastic fan here. This runs on the coach battery. You can act like an attic fan at night. Bring the cool outside air in. You can also be an exhaust fan for your bathroom or if you're cooking. Bathroom's in here. We'll check that out in a little bit. Nice, easily accessible entryway. Got a fire extinguisher, stash spot in the door. This window opens, but it does not have a screen. Got a privacy curtain you can pull across here. You can also go all the way around the front of the van. Got your levels test here for your gray, black, and fresh water, your coach battery. Water pump on off, that pumps the water out of the onboard fresh water tank. Generator start stop switch that has 141 hours. This runs off the fuel tank. You, you will stop running around a quarter tank so it's not possible to strain yourself. Got your water heater on off, this ignites itself. Noxious gas detector, got a light switch here. Got a little scuff there on the wall. A little camera malfunction, here we are above the kitchen area. An aluminum backsplash. A little spice rack here. This window has a screen portion on the lower. Got Corian countertops. Single basin stainless sink. Two burner propane cooktop. Get your water pump down there. This is a three-way fridge. This is a three-way meaning it runs on AC, so your shore power plug-in or your generator. DC meaning the coach battery or propane gas. That's 110 power right there. your furnace. Got your coach battery disconnect is this red key here on the bottom right. If you pull this out or you should turn this and pull this out, it'll disconnect the coach battery. That prevents parasitic draw. Also disconnects the charging systems, which are the shore power plug-in, the generator, or the alternator while you drive. Got a board here to make up the bed in the back. A couple table legs. Got another table. Got your microwave here. This is a convection microwave. This runs on AC power, so your shore power plug-in or your generator. Stepping here into the bathroom. Not too much of a step up and in. Got a wet, dry basin here. So you're gonna sit here on the toilet or stand up if you'd like, take a shower, everything's gonna drain there into the floor. Got an actual porcelain stool. Towel bar there in the back. Got a light. You can pull this curtain around the track to help contain the moisture. Got a 110 plug there, Corian countertops in here as well. We also got a window that opens here, so we do have a vent on this window. Come here to the back of the coach, we got 110 power here. We've got a uh, fuse panel here, has your 110 breakers, your AC breakers, and your 12 volt DC fuses. Another noxious gas detector over there. Got some light switches over here. Got our thermostat. 
AC overhead. The AC is controlled via the switches here on the AC itself. So here on this sofa here, this is a power sofa. We're gonna push a button and run this down. It's gonna make where you can sleep two people like this. It makes it easy to get out in and out of bed at night without crawling over one another. Or you can use that board and use the cushions here to make up a big bed. I'm gonna drop some pictures now so you can see what that looks like and get some measurements. The twin sleepers measure approximately 27 inches east-west or side-to-side -side and 72 inches long or north-south on the driver's side and just a little shorter at 70 inches long on the passenger side. The board from the closet fills in the gap to make the big bed, which measures approximately 68 to 72 inches north-south or front-to-back and 80 inches east-west or side-to-side. -side. got storage overhead in the rear. Two rear windows do not open. We've got curtains for privacy. The side windows both open with screens on the lower portion. We've also got privacy curtains. Got a couple of small marks here and there on the walls in the back. Very small stuff. Here we are sitting in the rear of the pleasure way. Why do nurses like red crayons? Sometimes they have to draw blood. Got a counter flip out here. You can flip this up to create more counter space. There's a 110 AC plug-in behind that. Got two seat belts here on the rear couch and two up front. So a total of four seat belts in this unit. So our TV swivels out to face the front here. We've got an inverter back here. Got 12 volt power, AC 110 plug-ins. The inverter takes the DC coach battery power, inverts it to AC so you can watch this TV off the coach battery. Got a switch to turn all that on and off here. DVD player. This is the power button for the sofa to run that up and down. The two front seats do swivel. The passenger seat will get a better angle due to having more room, whereas the driver's seat has the steering wheel in this cabinet. So you can watch TV from the front if you've got people that get up at two different times in the morning. Got a light switch here. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. Got some of our other light switches here and a light switch back here for the rear lights couple reading lights that have switches on the lights themselves in the very rear. Got some of your manuals there. This is an inflate deflate for the rear airbag suspension. Got some more manuals. So a nice pleasure way here. We get a lot of these pleasure way excels in. These are very popular units because of the bathroom and the bed situation. This is a nice unit. I'm going to call it an eight and a half out of 10. A couple little cosmetic blemishes here and there. Nothing that affects the fun or usability of this unit. Check it out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV brothers. Here in the front, we got power windows, power locks, power mirrors, tilt, cruise, CD player. This also has Pandora, serious capabilities. Got a USB cable coming in here so you can plug your phone in. You got nice clean upholstery. Carpet's nice clean too. A little glove box there. Not seeing any signs of smoking in the form of burns, stains, tears, things like that. So I'm going to call this one a non-smoker, although we can never really say for sure. Got a backup camera monitor here. This is somewhat of a reflective screen, so you can use it kind of like a regular mirror, or that also becomes the monitor for the backup camera. Alrighty, folks, we're going to go around the outside of this 2010 Pleasure Way Excel TS. This RV measures 20 and a half feet bumper to bumper with an 11 foot manual awning. The tires have 4917 date codes. This Pleasure Way is built on a Ford E350 chassis with a 5.4 liter V8 engine with 52,965 miles. Got a pretty nice looking exterior on this one. Still got lots of good shine left. Got your coach battery, back of the refrigerator, porch light. Got your furnace exhaust here. We do have actual alloy rims on this unit. Got two 110 plug-ins so you can plug things in beneath the awning. Got a nice storage spot here. Come around to the back of the RV. Got your air conditioner up top. Got a tow package down here. These little air chucks here are to inflate, deflate, or check the pressure in the rear airbag suspension. Got some storage here in the back. Got your awning center rafter and crank. Got a backup camera. A storage bay. Sewer hose storage, back of the water heater, fill for the onboard fresh water tank.
Got the outside shower, it's nice for kids, pets, going to the beach. Fuel fill, so that's for the engine and the generator. The generator will stop running around a quarter tank. Got your sewer dumps here, black for the toilet, gray for the sink and shower, black first, then gray. Got your cable TV in, city water in. Got our propane tank, We've got a gauge for that. That's where this is filled, an on and off valve. Got your shore power connection, Onan 2800 generator. Got our, our exhaust there for the generator. Nice looking pleasure way here. This one is ready to hit the highway.